chapter 23, Mishnah 5. The Mishnah continues discussing laws that relate to a deceased person. It teaches how we are to handle a dead body on Shabbos. We may attend to the needs of the deceased on Shabbos. We may anoint him with oil and rinse him with water, provided that we do not move any of his limbs, because a dead body is muksa, and thus moving even part of it is forbidden. We may pull the mattress out from under him, thereby laying him on the sand below, so that he will not decompose as a result of the warm mattress, but will remain moist. If his mouth is falling open, we may tie something around the jaw, not so tightly that the jaw will rise and close the mouth, since it is forbidden to move any part of the body, but only so the jaw will stay in place and not continue to drop. As an aside, the Mishnah teaches a similar law about holding something in place on Shabbos. Similarly, if a ceiling beam broke, we may support it with a bench or the sideboards of a bed, not so that it will rise, because putting the beam back in place would violate the malacha of building, but only so that it will stay in place and not continue to fall. The Mishnah returns to the matter of handling a dead body. We may not close the eyes of the deceased on Shabbos because it is forbidden to move any part of him, as taught above. And we may not close the eyes of a dying person even on a weekday when his soul is close to departing because at that point even the slightest movement of his body will shorten his life. Someone who does close the eyes of a dying person when the soul is close to departing is a murderer.